Hey guys, um, so I got this little Texas bull device uh, arrived yesterday afternoon. Um, so I pulled it out and I've started playing around with it. It's what it does is it turns the pump on, on and off, or it gives power to the the pump um, so long as there's water. So what it means is the when there's water. In the, in the tank. Let's go up here. So there's two little um, stoppers on them. And what they do, when they're both down, when the water's very low, both of those are pulling on the switch at, the, at this little device. And it turns the electricity off, so it doesn't let the pump run it cuts the power out so we come into the obviously the power going in and then the power um, heading off to the, the switch the pressure switch and which leads on to the, the pump so it cuts that power supply out and then when those two you can see in through here can't quite see them but when those two uh, floats reach a certain level it switches off the switch um, you can just sort of see it in there so that'll that'll cut it out when it goes up when there's level uh, when there's less weight in it it pulls down and turns them off and then when it's when they're floating it switches it back on so it gives power so the two levels we've got a, a lower a lower level which would be down here when both of them are out of the water that's when the water the pump doesn't get power but as soon as they come up to around about halfway uh, it allows power to then pass through to this the switch and to the pump so provide it all in today um, i've turned off one of the tanks and the idea is now to let the one drain out while the nat does some water in um, we can actually give it a proper test. So the first one is already out of the water and the second one is nearly down at the bottom. So probably another five minutes, if that, and we'll be able to see it actually working in, in process. So it should cut out the power to the, the pressure switch and obviously the pump. Um, We'll check back in a in a minute and I'll I'll add the videos in as well and we can see how it actually really works. Uh, just another another quick little thing. Um, the water fills the tanks from one of the, the two inch boreholes that we've got at the land. Uh, at the, the shop, should I say. And um, you can see it in there, I hope. It's a bit difficult. Now the little the little ball what I've done is the, the arm, I've bent it right up. So originally the straight, the straight bar would fill the tank to about here. So I bent it up and it should fill it up to about here. It gives us a bit more water, um, a bit more safety should we, we use too much water and um, there's not enough later on. But. Uh, it just gives us a little bit more security of there being a bit more water and obviously the way it works uh, gravity uh, gravity balance leveling out open the valve at the bottom and whatever this one is at it will have and fill up the other the other tank so doing what I'm doing I'm emptying the one tank then I can turn on the second the second valve once I test that uh, little switch and we'll have water again anyway so it's uh, just to play around with it a little bit like that uh, it's quite a neat little little bit of kit that we've got now um, and it's working pretty well so far Nat um, I've asked a few times now over the last week and she's saying that she's getting a lot more free time because the, the, the plants are all watered through the night she comes in and she's just got to water the odd the odd few here and there that um, are not getting done by the sprinklers but in time 
once um, once we've we've got a bit more cash together in that we can put in more proper lines um, more valves and try and make things a little bit easier further for her um, that's what it's all about trying to trying to make life a bit easier um, fed up of having to go back to the UK and be away from the kids uh, for three four five months at a time last year last year I spent eight months away from the kids to, to get a bit of money together and because of a few problems I came ended up coming back home with uh, really nothing um, it just didn't work out as, as well as I wanted to but uh, if I can try and work things over here and get the life easier um, with Nat, get our costs down somehow or another, we can live off what we earn um, here and live off what we, 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 we're growing in the gardens and the chickens and that. Um, it's going to take time but uh, that's the, the plan, making a life a little bit easier and uh, spend more time with the family. It's not all about hard work, it's about working smart, I suppose. So that's the plan. Um, enough about that. Let's have a quick gander at this. We're almost there. It's very, very close now. Um, it doesn't take long to, to empty the tanks at this place because of the amount of water that we do put out. It's, there's no sprinklers running. It's purely running on hose pipes at the moment. Um, she's watering uh, a couple of outside plants, like I said, by hand. And the pump's still running. Uh, we just check that. We're still at uh, 1.6, 1.7, so we've still got water going out. It won't take long now. Um, it's good to kind of watch it. Uh, Zoom in a little bit more, you can see 1.6, 1.7. It holds up pretty well there. Give it a second or two. Oh, a little bit longer than that, I suppose, but uh, you know what I mean. And uh, we should have a pump that's turned off. If not, the the switch will, or the pressure switch will just drop to zero because there'll be no water and I'll have to fire off the power it's manually. Um, but hopefully that should not happen. Have a quick look inside again. And it's probably got about About another two inches to go. Probably another three inches, two to three inches anyway. I could I could speed it up a little bit and, and open this valve here, but she's watering, so let her just continue on. Um, and we'll we'll check it check it normally, naturally, rather than just chucking the water away. Let her let her do it right. So the, I heard um, my, my buddy Jesse around here, um, he's already got one of these because he's got a, a similar setup uh, at his place. Not with the sprinklers and the type of pump, but he fills his tank um, through a, a well as well. Um, I think his pump, he's got two pumps, one that fills from the well to the tank and then one from the tank to the house. Um, so he's he's wired it up slightly differently when uh, it, it'll cut out the the well pump rather than the house pump. The, the, it'll cut out the pump going in rather than the pump going out. We're cutting out the pump going out rather than the pump coming in. Um, but that's the that's the way that we're doing it. But he he gave me a hand with it. Um, I've never done one before. He's done it a couple of times now. So he kind of knows roughly what he's doing um, and it does help. So uh, I'm learning a lot more from him as well. Um, and uh, it makes things easier later on, like I say, all about easy life now. Trying to, trying to make things easy. 
if I can uh, stop that that traveling over to the UK constantly spend more time with the family you're losing two to four days each way right now we've got no water but okay so we got no water so if we we've got to turn this little bee beast off here so the problem we got is the string is too long so I need to shorten the string and give it a try I'll open the valve fill it up a little bit and, uh, and and check it again so I'll pop back in a few moments with another video once I've tied a little bit of a knot in that string to shorten it um, see you in a few minutes then cheers guys <laughs> 